Welcome back to Empowerment Nursing. I am Ashley, a nurse educator, and you are tuning into our weekly application of In the Know, where we make it simple. Today we are applying a live video we shared previously about simplifying cardiac landmarks. If you missed this video, go ahead and catch it on the replay. It's really valuable and gives you some super quick tricks to know where to auscultate certain areas on the heart. So we're going to apply that content today. Um, please comment what your answer is below and then play the video for the correct answer and rationale. So here's our question. A 50 year old female patient is ordered by the physician to take digoxin, also known as lenoxin, 0 0.25 mill uh, milligrams by mouth. Prior to administering this medication, you will assess which area on the precordium. So first of all, you need to know where you would auscultate um, or palpate. Um, whichever, um, a pulse on an individual you're going to administer digoxin for, which of course is the apical pulse, and now we need to know where that is. So our options are A, second right intercostal space to the sternal border, B, second left intercostal space mid-clavicular line, C, fifth right intercostal space mid-clavicular line, or D, fifth left intercostal space mid-clavicular line. If you tuned into our quick tricks for knowing where those are on the precordium, you might remember two, two, three, four, five, second intercostal space on the right, second on the left, third on the left, fourth on the left, fifth on the left, mid clavicular line, which of course right there is the apical pulse, a pet mouse. Um, we have the aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. So that is the apical pulse there. And of course that is D, the fifth left intercostal space, mid clavicular line, which of course is our correct answer. Whenever administering digoxin, you have to assess the apical pulse, which lies at the fifth left intercostal space, mid clavicular line, which means the middle of the clavicle down. And of course we hold digoxin if the patient's pulse is less than 60. So for the answer to this question and more and for all the concepts simplified for your registration exam, you can check out our complete study packages. We do guarantee that you will pass or your money back. And thank you so much for joining me. Bye for now.